what's up guys so crazy enough um riding down the freeway and the most high blesses me with this song this song is a classic 80s um father what is this easy listening genre i don't know but uh some of you will know who it is and what song it is but this song personifies how your kingdom spouse is feeling right now this is not for everyone this is for a select few that the most high has blessed with um you all having each other's presence and um you spending time together at least enough time where you could build and cultivate some things this is for those not for those that haven't met their kingdom spouse yet or don't know who their kingdom spouse is or haven't gotten confirmation you have had to have a relationship with them um either uh long distance over the phone um um help me out holy spirit um maybe on video chat, you know, over a period of time or in person. This is for those people, okay? So um, this is uh, the song that he placed on my spirit. This is for those people, and let's get started, okay? So the name of the song is called I Want to Know What Love Is, and it's by Foreigner. This is an old-school classic. Um i never i listened to the lyrics when it was on the radio and they played or whatever but it hit me so hard this time because i because the holy spirit already placed it on my spirit and i've always liked the song but it and you know it come on the radio i listen to it i don't really pull up you know pull it up or anything like that it's just not you know but it came on the radio and it hit my spirit so like it had never hit my spirit before and the holy spirit was like you know, he gave me the okay to go ahead and do the video on it because I felt it in my spirit. But I was like, I don't know if he want me to do a video or not. Because, see, I'm still in um, in that period where I'm listening for the Holy Spirit, but I'm still second guessing whether it was me talking or the Holy Spirit. You know, it's, um, you know, it's spiritual growth. You learn through experiences and that's how you you know, you get to the place where you know it's him without a shadow of a doubt and it's not you, you know, but it takes time. So if y'all are going through that, it's okay. Everybody goes through it. It's it's a feeling. It's a knowing through feel. You can feel his spirit and it, and, and you have different feelings um, from the Holy Spirit too, depending on what the situation is. He's so amazing. But anyway, I digress. Let's get on. Let's get to the nitty gritty of it. Okay. Okay. I want to know what love is by Farner. So it says, I've got to take a little time, a little time to think things over. I better read between the lines in case I need it when I'm older. Your kingdom spouse is very cautious, very cautious, and they pay attention to everything, all details. They're a skeptic even, and they want to make sure that everything that goes down in their life has been strategically, surgically <laughs> checked out and uh, confirmed in their minds, period. And it says, this mountain I must climb feels like a world upon my shoulders. Your spouse has gone through so much in their life and it feels like there's nobody it felt like there was nobody there for them and they had to do everything on their own and they just felt alone. They just felt like every time I love somebody, I think they're going to love me back the right way and they don't, uh, you know, family members have hurt them and, um, people have really hurt them. People that they really truly love deeply. This mountain I must climb feels like a world upon my shoulders through the clouds, I see love shine. Through you, through those clouds that they're going through, that they're separating all that pain and all that, the love that you give them shines. They see it. They see you. They see this new love that only the Most High could have given them. They know that you 
are the answer. They know that you are their kingdom spouse. They know that he sent them to you. Or wait, hold up. They know that he sent you to them. Excuse me. Um, and then it says, keeps me warm as life grows colder. You are saving them from hurt and pain and frustration and all these things that they've dealt with over years. You are healing your kingdom spouse. Even in that little bit of time that y'all had with each other, you, your love healed a place in them that they didn't know that they could heal, didn't know that they wanted to heal, didn't know that you were going to come into their lives and make such an impact on their heart. Oh, so beautiful. And so it keeps them warm when life grows colder. It makes them feel safe. It makes them feel loved. It helps them to heal from all the hurt and pain. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. Can't stop now. I've traveled so far to change this lonely life. Your spouse has felt so lonely and so rejected and so hurt. They're like, although I've been hurt tremendously, I've come this far and I've met my kingdom spouse and they love me for me and I love them for them and we love each other with the with the love of the Most High and the Most High has blessed us with each other and confirmed it. I love this person. This person heals me. This person loves me. This person is always there for me. They are seeing you. They know who you are. They know that the Most High sent you, okay? So they're like, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. But they're scared. They are very afraid that you are going to hurt them way back in that unhealed part of their mind. They really are like, I can't stop now. I done gone this far. But man, you know, you know, you get there where you just like, I done been hurt so many times. They might hurt me again. It's all that if, you know, until you know, no, no. So anyway... I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. They're telling, they're saying in their mind, I want them to show me love. I love the love that they give me. I want them to continue to show me that love. And they're loving the fact that you love them the way that you do. Got to take a little time, a little time to look around me. I've got nowhere left to hide. Looks like love has finally found me. Your kingdom spouse was running, honey. And a part of them is still running because they're like, yo, I'm not feeling this because I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, they're, they're really nervous. They're scared. They're anxious. You know, they have all these emotions built up and they're like, yo, I don't even know if I want to do this. Like, I want to do this, but I don't want to do this. I want to do this, but I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? They're conflicted because they... They know that you were sent by the Most High, and that just makes it kind of even more of a pressure because now they're like, yo, this is the chance of a lifetime, you know. I got to take it, but I'm so scared, you know what I'm saying? So your love is helping them to heal. You have to give them grace, y'all. Give them the grace and love that they need. Give them the patience that they need. When they are acting a certain way like they don't want to be bothered, it's not that they don't want to be bothered. They just don't know how to receive you sometimes, and they don't know how to live outside of the trauma. They're living through the trauma. That's why it's important to let the Most High move through you guys and cultivate and heal you guys because some of that he has to do in order for your kingdom spouse to accept your love because they're not used to your type of love they're not used to agape love they're not used to unconditional love so anyway i'm just gonna retract so we can stay on track i want to know what love is i want you to show me i want to feel what love is i know you can show me they know that you can show them exactly what they need to heal to have a happy life okay Got to take a little time, little time to look around me. I've got nowhere left to hide. Looks like love has finally found me. They know who you are and they know that you are their kingdom spouse. And they are trying to not forfeit the blessing, but they have not realized yet that they're going to have to use the most high strength. And that's the only way they're going to get through because they've tried to heal with 
their own understanding for years and they've gotten to this place and now they cannot move without asking the most high for his strength nor can they move forward and be successful without you okay and they know this in my life there's been heartache and pain i don't know if i could face it again they don't want to be hurt again and that's the thing that's what's making them go back and forth they know the most high sent you but they do not want to get hurt again okay can't stop now i've traveled so far to change this lonely life they're lonely they feel heartbroken they're uh beat down they feel like every time i find love it just starts out well and then it's out the window and they are worried that it's going to happen with you guys so just give them patience just give give them patience and uh perfect peace that perfect peace that the most high is blessing you with bless them with it don't get mad at them over trivial things don't waste time on trivial things it's just not important they have to heal and you have to be their help okay and usually I'm not trying to be biased, but usually this is the prodigal uh, spouse that is the male. It can be the female, but I've noticed most of the times it's been the male that's the prodigal spouse that's experiencing things like this. Just throwing that out there. Not saying that it can't be the women, but I'm just saying. Anyway, um, and then it goes on to say, again, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. They are anxious to see the life that y'all are going to have together because they know it's going to be beautiful because they know the most high cultivated it. So they know that it's going to be amazing. They still scared though because of the trauma. So anyway, um, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. Remember, they know who you are and they know what you give and provide for them. There's no question with that. So um, then it goes on to say, I want to know what love is. Again, I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. And then he says, let's talk about love. Now, the Most High has healed them to a point where they can actually receive you. Because before they weren't receiving you, remember? They weren't receiving you. Now they're starting either, if y'all are not talking now, when he comes back or she comes back to you, they're going to be receiving you. There's not going to be this wall that they have up. Now the wall is going to be broken down and the Holy Spirit is going to help you and guide you guys through the situation and they're going to be in the process of healing. Now, if y'all are separated and they come and y'all come back together, they're going to be totally different, but they're not going to be completely healed because it's our duty to do that, to, to bring the rest of that in. So remember that. They're not going to be perfect, and they're not going to be completely healed. Um, and then it goes on to say, oh, I want to know what love is. Let's talk about love. I know you can show me. I want to feel. For so many years, they did not feel. They were married. They were in situations, but they didn't feel. They were like cold they had to go in this this shell because they weren't comfortable with the people that they were with they didn't f make them feel comfortable help them feel comfortable help them heal they weren't from god they weren't their uh spouse that was foreordained from the most high before the foundations of the earth they were not the rib or the man that the rib came from they weren't supposed to be together um, I want to feel what love is. And you know, you just can't hide. I know you can show me. See, they're getting to a point where as the Most High heals their mind and renews their mind, they're like, wow, you know, I can't hide from this. This is too good for me to hide from it or to not accept it. Like reasoning, you know. Um, I know you can show me. I want to feel what love is. Oh, I want to know. See, they anxious because now they done got a taste, okay? They done got a taste, okay? And so now they like, what? Okay? They know. And then it ends with, I want you to show me. They are in a healing place where they are accepting you. They know who you are. He has shown them who you are. Um... Y'all have spent time with each other and y'all have built a relationship with each other, a relationship that no one else has built with them beautifully. And um, y'all hit it off just like that. Like it was just like, 
y'all weren't even strangers and y'all just had fun together, laughed together, just shared intimate things with each other and just had an amazing time. And they've never had that before. So they're thinking about all these things. And the beautiful thing is the most high is blessing you both with, if y'all are separated right now, or um, even if you're not separated, you're still talking, the most high is working on both of you. Um, if you're the female, he may be working on you, um, preparing you for being a wife, um, having you read um, the book of Ruth or um, Proverbs 31. Um, and if you're the male, he may have you looking at Ephesians 5 and, you know, just preparing y'all for marriage, you know. So it's a beautiful thing. The Holy, the Most High is so amazing. He does his thing. Y'all hear me? Does his thing. But um, I just wanted to share that uh, because it was so beautiful. He laid it heavy on my spirit. And if you don't know the song, go on YouTube, go on YouTube and look it up. I want to know what love is. No, it's I want to know what love is by Foreigner. Dope song. Classic song. Peace and blessings, guys.